Hey, my name is Dave Mason. I'm a lieutenant with the Chesterfield Fire and EMS and outside of Richmond, Virginia, Chesterfield County, Virginia. Um, we serve a population of about 350,000 and we cover like 426 square miles. Uh, we have 23 engine companies, five truck companies, and numerous medics. Um, what we're looking at today is the Enforcer chassis. Uh, we decided to go with the Enforcer chassis. Uh, since they redesigned it, it gives you more room in the cab. Uh, also, we went back to the, the Enforcer chassis due to the shorter wheelbase. Uh, it makes it easier getting around some city streets. We have some narrow streets, and so we have uh, numerous apartment complexes with uh, narrow roadways, so this makes it a little bit easier getting around. Um, TAC 4 suspension. Uh, and about five years ago, we switched from your traditional body to the puck body. And the reason we did that was is we kept hearing that uh, since we're carrying more and more equipment for firefighting and EMS, that we were running out of space. And the puck body really helps with increased compartment space for everything we carry. And another reason we we went back to the enforcer chassis with the puck body is you can get your cross legs lower on the body when you use the enforcer chassis. Um, it helps with pulling lines, a little bit easier pulling lines and getting the hose off the unit. As you can see we have plenty of compartment space uh, throughout the entire unit. On the back side, uh, we just carry our supply line, 5 inch supply line, and 500 foot of uh, 3 inch. That's all we have coming off the rear. We placed our booster line in the rear compartment. It gets it down low. It's very easy to pull. And we did an extension here to help get the hose around the unit. You get a go a different direction besides straight back. As most com compartments were heavily into EMS and this compartment in all of our units is uh, just for EMS equipment. Uh, plenty of shelving, uh, outlets for charging, whatever needs to be charged and we found that now we can get all of our EMS stuff in one compartment. Spare SCBA bottle compartments. We have one on the driver's side and two on the officer's side, so we can carry six spare bottles. So, so far with the puck bodies on our units, we've been very happy as far as space, uh, ease of working off of, and uh, we're looking forward to being back on the Enforcer uh, for driving and getting around tight places. I want to thank you all for watching, and have a good day.